Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel, the number one YouTube channel to help you level up your communication skills, learn the art of public speaking, social skills, and digital content creation to take your message to the world. For today's episode, I'm going to be discussing two major mental flips in terms of public speaking. If you're excited, don't forget to hit subscribe right on below for the latest videos regarding how you can communicate more effectively. So I remember a while back, I was doing karate. And when I was doing karate, Taekwondo, my karate teacher used to always tell me, Yo Armani, you focus too much on the physical aspect. You don't focus enough on the mental side. And back then, I used to be a very lazy guy. I wasn't someone that was a hard worker. I would, I would sort of be lagging with my movements. I was dragging my feet. And in karate, there were certain moves that you had to do. There were certain trainings that you had to do. There were certain forms that you had to learn. And every single time I was showing up, even though I was physically doing the movements, mentally, I was off in La La Land. And when I was off in La La Land, my instructor could easily tell. He could easily tell that I was distracted. And to this exact day, we can easily tell when someone is paying attention or if they're off in La La Land. Well, if you're not picking up a theme of what I'm trying to say, your mental game, your mental game is very, very important. And in most cases, your mental game is more often important than the physical aspect in itself. When I tell my Toastmasters mentees or my clients that you have to fix the mind before we fix anything else, they're often thinking, wait, what? Public speaking isn't about the mind. Karate isn't about the mind. Social interactions isn't about the mind, but no, it is. Ask anyone that's been public speaking for a very long time, and they'll tell you that it's actually a mental workout for them, and a great speech is just a byproduct of that. Which is why in today's episode, I wanna give you two very unorthodox tips in order to improve your mindset regarding public speaking. So the day that you go onto the stage, you're not lagging with your movements like I used to do with karate. We want you to be fully efficient. And by the way, if you're wondering, I did end up becoming a black belt, but by the time I was doing the later belts, that's when my mental um, flip had happened. So let's cheat code you to that mental flip and make it happen today after watching this video. So the two mental switches that I'm going to talk about, number one, it's called negative visualization, and number two, it is the 10X rule. So let's talk about negative visualization first. Often you hear about positive thinking, and I think positive thinking is great. Don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, positive thinking isn't always realistic when it comes to public speaking. There's going to be plenty of times when you envision the perfect things happening, but unfortunately, this is a shithead in the audience acting up. It's happened to me before. I prepared my speech from beginning to end, rehearsed it over and over, practiced positive thinking beforehand that no one was going to interrupt me, everyone was going to be attentive. And then there was this one guy in the audience that was clearly texting, his phone was ringing. I mean, he was being a whole bunch of distraction on his own. And it got to a point where it started to rattle me. This was earlier on in my public speaking journey, but that day I learned that you can want everything to be positive, but unfortunately, public speaking deals with humans, and humans typically have unpredictability involved. So neg negative visualization, I, I don't want you to take the term too much into your head right now. It is negative where you're picturing certain bad things happening. That's the first part. But then you have to finish the job. If something bad does happen, you finish the job by mentally preparing how you're going to overcome that. So let's just use the example that I said earlier. Mentally, I should have prepared this clown texting away his phone ringing nonstop and seeing how I would have rehearsed through that. If you just stop at bad things happening, then bad things probably will happen. But if you can condition your mind to keep on being creative and finding ways to overcome those negative situations, then if it happens during your speech day, you feel much more battle-tested. You're stress-testing your mind. 
When you go to the gym, you're not just li- lifting weights that you feel comfortable with. Do you? No, you're battle testing your body. You're lifting heavy weights because you understand that it's going to tear your muscle apart, but eventually you're going to get your protein in, you're going to eat the right diet, drink the right food, and heal that muscle. Same with your mind. Put it through some battles, put it through some tests, and find ways to rise above anyways. When you're first starting off, this may be a little tough because visualization is very advanced. So what I recommend is before, you start your visualizing techniques, go on and write it down. And write down exactly what you want to visualize. Now you're clarifying that stream of thinking into your mind, and it's going to become much, much easier to actually see it in your mind. When you can see it, you really feel as though you're in the moment. And just a bonus tip, this personally helps me, so give it a try, but listen to some hype music. Some music that you listen to in the gym. This gets you thinking in higher thought patterns and makes it easier to visualize. That's number one, negative visualization. Number two is the 10X rule. Now, this is highly effective. This is getting a rough idea of how many people are going to be in your audience and then 10Xing it in your mind. So if you're going to be speaking to 10 people in the actual speech, in your mind, you're presenting in front of 100 people. This is huge. This is huge because when you see it in your mind's eye, what happens is that if you really start feeling stronger sensations, you're really, really stretching past your comfort zone. And when you start feeling those sensations and still finding ways to continue forward, give your speech, be charismatic, be humorous, now the day of the actual speech, you feel ready. You think 10 people, that's it? In my mind, I've already spoken in front of hundreds of people, thousands of people. Really, really use your imagination with this one. I I call it the 10X rule, but feel free to stretch beyond that. But this is huge because now you're not thinking as logically. You're thinking very creatively. And this works like a charm. I've seen it over and over again. In the day of your speech, you feel much more in tune with your body. The... The emotions, the rough emotions, don't hold you back as much. Major key. So these are two techniques that I consistently do to this day. Anytime I have a public uh, speech coming up, anytime I have to speak in front of conferences, whatever, I do these two mental tricks. These mental tricks you can do whenever during your preparation. Whenever. It doesn't have to be just when you're first starting or just when you're first ending. Do it as much as you can. And you'll notice that as you're visualizing the negative scenarios and overcoming it and doing the 10X rule, you'll notice that this public speaking exercise is actually helping you with any kind of social interactions. It's making you more dynamic, more socially dynamic. Huge, huge key. No matter what you do in this life, understand that you have to win your mind over first. That's how you cheat code success. Whether it's communication skills, storytelling, digital content creation, whatever the case is, you got to win twice before you win once. Once in the mind, once in real life. That's how you manifest the life of your dreams. Now, if you have a speech coming up and you need some assistance getting it set up, getting your ideas out there, structured, and mental preparation tactics, then go on and fill out a free discovery call session right in the description box below. In the session, we'll get in touch, we'll see exactly where you want to go, what's sort of holding you back, what what you can improve on, and I'll give you practical tips, tricks, and insights on how you can make that gap happen. Major key, learn how to communicate like a rock star and level up. Thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode.